Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tina. And as you can see, I am doing a what fits in my Rebecca Minkoff bag. Um, so as you can see, this bag is kind of being used as storage at the moment. And as I was looking at it, cause I'm about to um, remove everything that's in it. I figured, hey, why not show you guys how much this bag can actually hold. Um, so before we go ahead and get started into that, um, I just want to say welcome to my channel if you're new and if you're not, welcome back. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and press the little bell to get notified every time I upload a video. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so as you can see, there's this, this bag on my vanity. Um, this is the Rebecca Minkoff bag. It is the Rebecca Minkoff Reagan bag. I believe it's called, yeah, it's called the Reagan bag. And part of the reason why I got this bag, I got this bag uh, a couple years ago, a few years ago, I'm not really sure, but I've had it for a while. But I got this bag because it reminds me of the Balenciaga city bag, um, the older style. I mean, I guess it could remind you of the new one too. Um, and I really love this bag. It's really nice leather. As you can see, it's a really good size bag. Um, let me try it switch it around for you so you can see this is the back but as you can see there's a whole lot of stuff sitting in it because I started to put it as um, I started to like throw some like my makeup items that I haven't been or haven't started using yet into this bag and so it's full of other items as well so I figured why not show you guys how much this bag can actually hold now of course I'm sure you won't carry your bag around with this much stuff it is super heavy but of course you wouldn't carry you know this much stuff in your bag where you can't close or zip but it does have a front zipper um, which it has a pretty deep pocket. It has two top handles, which I love. It does have um, clips for straps. Um, however, I do not have the strap on there because I do not like the strap that it came with. I took it off and I put it on a different bag. It's a nice leather strap, but it's just really skinny. And I feel like the, the thickness and the, the, the size of this bag, it needs to have a thicker strap. So I plan on getting a different strap for this bag but since I haven't been using it, it it just doesn't have one on it right now but anyway so let's go ahead and go into what I actually have stored in here so I have these are some of my recent Sephora hauls as you can see too um the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops I have the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush Trio. I have the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen and the SPF 40. I've been, I needed a new sunscreen, so I decided to try that one out. I have, this is one of the samples, the NS3 Pore Clearing Clay Mask. Which I love to try these little masks. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Smooth and Blur Primer, another sample. As you can see, I have a ton of makeup items in here. This is the Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Cream Bronzer in the shade, let me see. Sorry. I'm trying to get it to focus. Oh, it's in the shade Honey Glaze. I have the uh, Dior Rouge Blush. This is in the limited edition. I think it's limited edition, but it's the Rouge Blush 999, which is that iconic red that they have. Um, I have a ton of other makeup in here and makeup from other places that I've been buying. And then I've also been storing this bag with some of my other items that normally go in that I use in my bags from time to time. So 
here we go. We have um, a Dior Attic Stellar um, Shine. This is a lip gloss. And this is in the shade I don't know, 612, but I'm trying to see the name, but I didn't see it. Um, here is a lipstick. And it's in the shade 449 DeSante. I'm not sure if I'm saying these right. This is another Rouge Dior lipstick in the shade 100 Nude Look. Um, this I picked up from TJ Maxx. Um, it's $5.99. Um, this is that Lipstick Queen. Sorry, I'm trying to get around. Lipstick Queen, and, the, and I really kind of love her lipsticks because, I don't know, lately, ever, ever since like mask season, <laughs> you know, we've been wearing these masks. I mean, of course, like not too many of my lipsticks or, uh, Lip, liquid lipsticks or any of that make get too much use so I've been trying to get um, well not trying I've been more into like lip balms tinted lip balms lip oils and this one is like a, a lipstick that changes tint so it kind of like makes me think of like a tinted lip balm so I like stuff like this because it looks like your lips but the colors tend to change and this one is in the shade hello sailor um, I have a lifter gloss in the shade Petal. Guys, I have a ton of stuff, so I'm trying to not talk too much because there is a lot in here. This is one of the uh, Fenty Beauties, the mini size with the little keychain holder that comes with it. This is in the shade Fenty Glow, so it's the original. Um, please excuse this the little stain and lint on my shirt. Um, this is um, a lip a lip gloss, a Dior lip gloss, and the shade is reflecting off. I can't read it. Uh, number seven two three blessing star. Um, I think one of my kids got some of their sauce on my arm, <laughs> but this is one of the Ulta, Ulta Beauty Juice, Juice Infused um, Lip Oils. I love these. This is in the shade, um, I feel like it was called like Cranberry Pomegranate. The, the names are not on here, but the number is 367. Um, here we go. Another TJ Maxx Fine for $6.99. This is the Marc Jacobs High Shine Gloss, lip gloss. Um, another Dior Attic Stellar Gloss in the shade Zodiac, Zodiatic in 711. Um, now we're kind of getting close to the products of, that were mine that I already had. So here is my one of my favorite lip oils, the NK Makeup Pure Lip Oil. Got this from the local beauty supply in the shade Raspberry. This is another one of my pill cases. Got off of Amazon. Here goes some of my makeup. Still, I bought this. Um, this is one of the Kate. Is it Kate Moss? Kate, I think it was one of the Kate Moss lipsticks from Rimmel um, in the shade 43. Um, this is a coin purse that um, was my daughter's and she, she, her money was too big for this after a while. So I just have it in there. I have some oil absorbing sheets. I'm not really oily. I tend to have really, really dry skin. But this past summer, I started to produce a little bit of oil. So I just started to try some of these oil sheets. So 
still got some left. Um, when I, this is one of my lotions I love to use, especially in the winter, the Gold Bond Healing Lotion, or they also have like the intensive, intense healing hand cream. I like those too, but I like this size, especially when I carry like a smaller bag. So that's one of those. This is Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing and Dark Circle Eye Serum. This is was a sample. I don't know, I can't remember if it was from Ulta or Sephora. Um, here I also have the Rare Beauty. Um, this is one of the, I actually really like this. This is, um, I just love the concept uh, for, when you're producing oil, it's like a powder puff in there with um, with powder on it and blotting sheets. So it's like all in one pack and has a really large mirror in here. So I really like this. Also, like I said, just to try it out. Um, I have a pack of tissues. Um, here is another Dior. This is a, a lipstick, I think. Um, This is in this shade, oh, can't see it, 630 Treasure Star. Most of those shades are kind of like nude, the Treasure Star and um, Blessing Star. Um, this is something that came from a hotel we stayed at in Vegas years ago and I still haven't ever used it, but it's a shower cap and scrunchie mix, but sometimes I like to keep it in my bag. So if you're ever caught out in the rain and you don't have your umbrella here you go you can use that so as you can see like here's my mask case i bought this in the beginning of the pandemic um i use it off and on depending on the size of my bag um i usually keep um extra disposable masks in here or if I'm carrying my cloth, a cloth mask or wearing cloth masks, which I don't do too much anymore. I just like the disposable ones now because some of those cloth masks are so hard to breathe in. Here we go, some lipsticks. These are the Superstay, Maybelline Superstay ink crayons. I do love these. Um, I have the shade Reach High and change is good and I have another one it's another nude color somewhere I have my small coach boxy cosmetic case I have here's another one so I have an, two more than I thought I had this is the same thing of course as you can see it's more it's a red shade this is in the shade sorry upside down Own your empire. Sorry, guys, I couldn't really read that. Um, trying to make sure I got all of my unopened stuff. This is Fenty Beauty's Brow MVP, which is like a wax pencil, and I have used this. I really kind of like it. It's like I don't know. It could be similar to like if you were trying to. It's just another way to like make your brow stay um, in place. So this is the Givenchy Rouge Inter Interdit Vinyl Lipstick. And this is in Noir Revelator. Um, here is one of the Celine, uh, Rare, Rare Beauty. Um, I think this is her lip balm in the shade Sincere. I'm filming with one hand, so sorry, I can't open it. Um, this is another Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Stone. Here is one of my um, Bath and Body Works Rose Hand Creams. Here is a NYX Butter Gloss. I absolutely love these glosses. Um, this one is in the shade angel food cake this 
This is an e.l.f. lip balm. It's called Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Delightful. This is a beauty support, uh, sorry, a local beauty supply find. This is a Ruby Kisses um, lipstick. It's a matte in the shade Dolce. There's another Givenchy lipstick in the shade African Copper. This is a mini Fenty Gloss in the shade, I think this is called like Pink Dragon Fruit. It's nice and pink, a little bit of that gold shimmer. It's really pretty. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Toast. I like that shade. Another Givenchy lipstick in the shade Beige and Decent. I don't know if I'm saying these right, but that's what I'm reading. Um, I used to really love these. Um, that's why when I saw this one, I had to buy it. The um, These are the Bath & Body Works lip gloss, the menthol lip, lip shines, but this is the shimmer tint in the shade Bare Mint. So it's a little bit more of a bronzy, nudish pink. Really like it. For a while, I was pretty much only wearing that. This is one of the Coach Sephora collabs. Um, lip lip glosses. I think this is the mauve shade. Yeah, it's kind of really tiny to see, but it's mauve. This is the Gimme Brow Gel. Really like that. Okay, I have another Bath and Body Works hand cream. This is the Shea Butter hand cream. My Key Australia sunglasses. I do not remember the name of this style, but I do love them. So that was in there. Um, this is a Banana Boat sunscreen lip balm. I bought this um, over the summer when we went on vacation because we were out on the beach and I I've got sunburn on my lip before, so I knew better than to not carry one. Um, here is my fan. I absolutely love this fan. Like it's literally super small. So this is like the one of the ones I carry with me in the summertime. Um, it doesn't look like a fan. It probably looks like a battery charger, but it's so small. It's like similar in size to a lipstick. Like, look. It's even smaller than these. These you watch while she lipsticks are a little bit bigger. Let me see. Let's try this one. But like, it's about the same size of a lipstick. So it's really small in size. So I like it. Um, easy to hold in your hand. Opens just like this. And you just, it's probably dead because, oh, it's not cool. I haven't used this since the summer and it's not dead. So that's good. And it has like, two speeds but like the blades are like soft so you wouldn't even like hit yourself because my son would like to stick his finger here but it won't cut him or anything so that's my fan um try to get all this makeup stuff out another one of my favorite lip balms I gotta hurry up, this video is getting long. I told you I have a lot in here. I love this. Um, I thought it was gonna be a bit more glossy. It's more like a, okay, sorry. It's the Huda Beauty Silk Balm, which is a lip balm. Um, so I thought it was gonna come off a little bit more like a lip gloss, but to me, the consistency is more, it's, it's a little shiny, but it doesn't give it much shine as a lip gloss does. So it kinda, for me, the consistency is more of like a melted lip balm. Like if your lip balm was out on a hot summer day, that's what that feels like. Um, 
is my Chanel hand cream. Um, let's see what other makeup items because I told you I had a lot in here. I have the Fenty Summer Heat. Um, this is the Fenty Cream. And I think this is Honey and Waffles. There's some candy. <laughs> Um, this is another Rare Beauty um, lip gloss. I think it's in a mauve shade. Yep, mauve. This is my Essence lip gloss in the shade, I think it's called Bring It. It's that new one, super pretty. My favorite Chanel lip gloss. Absolutely love this. I buy them like two at a time. This is the number 792. Um, this is my L'Oreal lipstick. I love it. It's a nude. It's in the shade Dazzling Doe. Um, this is the Buxom lip balm. It's tinted. Um, in the shade Big O. It gives you, I love that, it gives your lips like a pinkish, mauve-ish color. This is my Chanel lipstick in the shade Libre. As you can see, there's a lot of crap up in here. There are wet ones. I pretty much have these in every bag. I'm not sure what this stuff is. Paperwork. And a sample for Goop Glow. This is my Coach, sorry, I'm turn around. Coach Large Wristlet from the Coach Outlet. I sometimes will use this as my toiletry pouch. Um, has some panty liners, a toilet seat cover, a pair of underwear, um, you know, a couple wipes in the back. So you can just grab and go if need be. I have some pins, charger block, um, Tom Ford mini lipstick. Impassioned. Fenty skin sample, some medication, some more lollipop, a um, crystal light packet, a handkerchief. I like to carry one of these around, especially in the summertime. Sanitary pack that I call, I call it a sanitary pack. A sanit, yeah, sanitary pack because it has gloves, extra masks, um, toilet seat cover, um, and flushable wipes. So that was in there. Um, more makeup. The NYX lip lingerie. I always read the name from the wrong spot. This is an exotic. This is another Coach Sephora. As you can see, I really like this one. I think this was called Nude Pink. It's a really nice everyday color. Um, I have a receipt. Let's see, more makeup in here. I have a Laneige Gummy Bear Lip Balm, Lip Liner, Auburn. Another Ruby Kisses in the shade Brown Sugar. Um, this is Orange Sickle NYX Butter Gloss. This is Tiramisu Butter Gloss. Yeah, one day I went and just went crazy on the NYX Butter Glosses. Marshmallow. Another Ruby Kisses. This is in the shade Rosy Brown. This is a bit of honey. Um, there 
There's a pen. It has a stylus on the end. This is a lip liner in the shade Coffee. Another lip balm. Another lip liner. Toast. Um, this is an extra string for the bag because say she has a lot of um, like strings on here. So if you ever lose one or falls off or breaks, you can fix it. And these are coupons that are expired. So this is the interior of the bag. It is just one big open space with a pocket. And that is it. Like this is how, this is a really big bag. So I absolutely love this bag. So if you're someone who likes to use big bags, I have a lot of stuff over here. Likes to use big bags. This would probably be the bag for you if you can find it every once in a while. I know when Rebecca McGuff does sample sales, she kind of pulls out some of her older styles and they go on sale. So if you're interested in this bag, look out for it when she has one of those sales. But that was it. So you can see the back holes a lot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, like I said, if you haven't joined, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks. Bye.